sum up my reasons for using Rust is you get the performance and power of a bare metal non-managed language like C or C++ without the laborious overhead. Rust also has a simple to understand syntax. If you are familiar with the ubiquitous JavaScript language, then the learning curve for Rust is fairly manageable. Rust has some similarity and compares favorably to Go. However, developers who use both Rust and Go tends to favor the concurrency model of Rust. Also, Rust does not have the corporate overlord or rather corporate sponsorship of Google like Go has. Rust is more than just a system level language. Rust can be uh, used for web development. It can be leveraged with, say, JavaScript or WebAssembly to uh, do full stack web application. In addition to embedded software and the traditional bare metal language usages. Those are some of my reasons. There are many more reasons, but those are just a few. Now, is Rust right for you? I don't know. Only you can answer that question for yourself or for your organization. The fact of the matter is C++, C, Go, it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. There are many projects that already exist in those respective languages, and they will be there for a long time. Rust is another option for us. Rust is another tool in our proverbial toolbox that we can leverage. Albeit, it'll be, it is a very elegant option. Um, so those, those uh, are some of the, uh, I guess, precursor, if you will. Um, so the game plan for this video is that I am going to show you how to completely install the Rust development environment on a Mac OS X system. The procedure for installing this on Linux is similar to the Mac. Unfortunately, I do not own a Windows computer, so uh, you can still enjoy this video if you're on Windows, but you would have to go to the official Rust documentation to get instruction on how to set up Rust on Windows. I will also show you how to completely uninstall Rust if you find that Rust isn't for you. And additionally, we are going to use Rust's uh, command line interface tool to start up a Hello World app. Let's get right into it. So the Rust team has provided us with a curl command to install RustUp from the command line. RustUp is the equivalent to, say, a Node version manager or NVM if you are a Node.js person or NuGet package manager if you're a .NET Core person or something like Gradle or Maven if you're a Java person. So let's go ahead and copy that command. Go to the command line. I've set up a, a Rust folder in my uh, sandbox directory. Nothing in there thus far. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the command line. So again, Rust up is the sort of like NVM and it's installing the compiler for us. Hopefully this will go quickly. I'm doing this in one take. Go ahead and select the default option, which is number one. Cargo, by the way, as you can see there, Cargo is the equivalent to NPM. It's sort of like your package manager if you're using Node. Again, I'm doing this in one take. You can fast forward the video if you like. 
or speed it up. I will put links to the Rust documentation page as well as some of their GitHub repos for instructions on Rust up and some of the learning uh, learning materials. I will be using VS Code as my IDE. You can use other IDE, but since VS Code is free and it has uh, some extensions to it already available for it already, so I'll just leverage that. Okay, so now we're done. Let's go ahead and source the or uh, source this file to make sure that the environmental variables get installed. You don't do this. You have to uh, close and reopen your terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and source that file to make sure that the environmental variable gets in there. All right. So let's make sure that we have the compiler install. Okay, we do. Let's make sure we have cargo install, and we do. So the Rust command line interface gives you a command that you can run from the command line. We can do hello Rust. Okay, it created that trivial little trivial app for us. Let's go ahead and go in there. Okay. Typical, right? The typical mechanism to to uh, start a file, start a project from the CLI, like you see in other languages. Let's go ahead and open up this code. These two files are sort of like your package.json and package.json lock files in in Node project or Palm file in Java. As you can see here, the syntax is uh, easy to read functional in nature. If you're coming from JavaScript, uh, you can understand that. One thing I also want to make you aware of is that if you do not want to install um, this yet on your computer, you can try the rebel. They give you a rebel here that you can try it out your code in. So let's go back to this. So one extension that I install is this here, straight from the Rust straight from the Rust developer. It helps with syntax highlighting and auto completion. Okay, let's go ahead and run this from the command line. Again, like other languages, it gives you certain commands. So, uh, this, this is the equivalent to uh, npm start. So it's compiling. This is uh, a trivial app, but uh, the process of compilation and running is very, very fast compared to C or C++. And even to a managed language uh, like C Sharp, which has the COR, and Java, which has the JVM, this is very fast compared to those languages. As you can see here, it's, retur it's returning the string, hello world. Okay. Um, so now, Let's say you find that so this isn't for you, okay? I'm going to go ahead and delete this, uh, delete this hello world. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so the Rust team has f provided us with documentation uh, on how Rust up works. So uh, one of the commands they give us is this uninstall. This will completely uninstall the dev environment for your machine. Again, I will put links to these uh, documentation in the description. So let's go ahead and run this. Yes. Okay, so make sure this is all gone. Okay, let's make sure the cargo is gone. And it is. Okay, so the next video, we're going to do another more uh, slightly advanced version of um, Hello World with Rust. Good luck.